everybody, this is Roxy, Firewife Lawyer Mom, and I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I do to help uh, entertain my kids throughout this whole coronavirus quarantine. And so one of the things that um, I've often said is that, you know, I, I'm not a big proponent of screens. Um, I try to limit the screens with my kids during the week. We're kind of like a no screen family during the week. Um, and that's mainly because I just think that it makes them more hyper and crazy and um, just isn't isn't conducive to like having kids that are functioning. Um, there's something that it does to their brains. I, do, I really am still trying to figure that out. Um, but I, you know, with this whole coronavirus and not being able to go anywhere and everything is canceled, um, I kind of had a little bit of a freak out because I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with my kids all day? Um, because the virtual learning at school can only take me so far and then what else are they gonna do? Um, and so I kind of wanted to make this video to hopefully help. I have an Instagram page uh, that I've been sharing a lot of my educational resources that I've been using with the kids during this time. Um, and so people have been asking me like where I get certain things and more ideas and stuff. So I wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys um, an idea of what I do. Now, just to, before I go into it, I wanted to let you know, I do have a second grader and I have a preschooler. And so my second grader pretty much works independently. Um, she has certain uh, tasks that she has to do for her virtual learning for school. Um, but my preschooler, you know, they do give her some worksheets, but really it's not enough to like really give, give her a lot to do during the day. So I mainly have things for her, um, but I have also, invested in some other stuff uh, for our family just to kind of pass the time basically. Um, and so I wanted to kind of go into what I use. Um, and so I have here, um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about are like manipulatives, right? So what I did when I had my first week of the quarantine was insanity. I literally didn't know what else to do with the kids. They were watching TV all day and so, um, some, you know, the first week was kind of like a little bit of virtual learning, but then the following week we had spring break. So I kind of took that time to say, okay, let me sit down and figure out a schedule of what we're going to be doing, um, during this time and how we're going to be handling everything. And then let me come up with a game plan as to what I'm going to do to keep them entertained. And so, um, I can definitely do a separate video on what my schedule is like, but I am a working mom. I'm an attorney. And so I... Uh, work between um, four and five hours a day and I also kind of homeschool uh, the kids as well because at the end of the day we're all homeschoolers now right um, and so I kind of went and started to look into different homeschool moms on YouTube and on different internet blogs and kind of to see what it is that they do because obviously their kids are also home all day so um, I figured maybe they would be a good resource so I did a lot of research I'm a big research person um, and so I did a lot of research and and looked into what are the kinds of things that I can use to, to help them to stay off of screens and to, um, you know, focus and have some learning, you know, as, as they're going along through their, their, their day. So, um, I have here some stuff, so I'm going to show you what I have. Um, and all of this stuff I purchased on Amazon. Um, and so you can get these too. It's, it's really not, um, you know, anything you have to go to a store for, cause obviously all the stores are closed. Um, and so what I did was, so I have, let me just kind of go through everything. So these are pattern blocks and I love pattern blocks because um, they are considered like, I guess teachers call them manipulative. I don't know, I'm not a teacher, you know, I'm not a teacher. So um, I'm just kind of figuring it out. Um, but these are like manipulatives, like things that they do with their hands. So um, these are pattern blocks. And what I do is on a lot of websites, they have um, like homeschooling websites. Where did I put my stuff? Uh, um, oh, here it is. So on a lot of like, if you Google um, free printable pattern block mats, um, you'll find these kind of mats. And so what they do is they use these pattern blocks and they can make like different things. Like they have lions and monkeys and elephants and all kinds of animals. Um, so you just, a lot of times you can find them on the teacher pay teacher website um, and they have them for free. So you just print them out. Now I laminate them so that I could use them multiple times. Um, but I literally spread these out on the dining table and my child goes through it um, really easily and loves doing it and is keeps her entertained and so it kind of helps me to like be able to do some some work or some chores or whatever or take a phone call 
Um, another thing that I have also printed, and this is, um, and I'm gonna link everything in the description box, but this is also uh, match the letters. So what they do is they take, um, so what I do is I take these little uh, magnets, magnet letters, let me show you. Okay, so these are magnet letters. Another thing you can find on, on Amazon, so just Google or Amazon search um, magnet letters, and they will, um, you know, you could use these for multiple things. You don't need to just use them on a magnetic board. Um, you can actually use them for, for doing different activities. And so what she'll do is she'll just mat match the um, small letter with the big letter. See, this is why I'm not a teacher. The lowercase with the uppercase. And so she sees the I and she has to look for the uppercase I uh, or the P and she has to, so these are just kind of little things that she does and she's learning um, language and all of that stuff. And then this, these little charts I also got for free. Um, and so they're, you know, with, I use it with the magnet tiles and I put them in these little like zip, you know, kind of like folding, um, plastic little folders and um, it has all of the letters and I just kind of set this up the night before uh, but basically it, she would look for tree and then she'd have to find the T and match it with the tree and so I have like there's several mats in here so I just kind of spread them all out and um, and, and loads of fun um, I also have um, I used this book and I posted this on my Instagram also it's called Mathematical Reasoning, and this is a fantastic workbook. Um, you, it does not require any writing at all. It's basically asking children different questions. Um, and so you go through the book, and we kind of go through like maybe five or six pages a day. Um, and she really loves doing it. They're kind of, um, you know, diff different questions that you ask, and they have to point or they have to tell you how many are in whatever um activity and it requires no writing and it's a great exercise you could just sit with with your your child on the couch and they can do it um and so it goes you know it, it gets progressively harder as you go to the end but it basically has all of the uh, basic mathematical concepts that they need to know uh for preschool for kindergarten and then they have all different levels like they even have it i think for elementary um as well and so that you can find on amazon um i love brain quest so these are brain quest flashcards and again these are very similar to the math mathematical reasoning and what you do is just, just asking questions um and so they're you know required to answer the question and then you, it gives you the answer in the next card. And so we kind of go through, we're like finishing pack one, it has two packs in it. Um, and again, this is preschool, uh, but they also have um, for upper elementary as well. And my older daughter, actually, I got her the ones for her second grade and she really loves going through them and, and learning. Um, and so we do that. And basically what I do with my kids is um, I, you know, spend about between from like nine to 1230. Uh, that's the time that I use to, to spend time with them and homeschool them and make sure that, you know, I kind of dedicate that time to them. So I work mainly um, in the early, early morning before my kids wake up and then also sometime in the afternoon uh, because my husband takes them to play outside. So uh, basically I dedicate that time uh, for them to, you know, for my older daughter to do her independent work and me to kind of oversee that and then also to work with my preschooler in getting some of her worksheets for school done and also other stuff that I have for her. Um, I also have the Brain Quest workbook. This is an awesome workbook. Um, I had this workbook before uh, the coronavirus. Um, I, we use this for the summer just to kind of keep their minds moving. And so this is also a great um, book for, for kids. I also have a couple of things for your older kids. So this is called Cooking Class. And this is a great little, like it's a cookbook because it shows them different things to cook. Um, but it also kind of goes step by step. And what I love about it is you could literally gear a cooking class. So what I do is every Friday, we have a, a little cooking class. And so we go through the book. And what I love about it is that it has, um, it comes with, you know, rules that you should have in the kitchen. 
Um, and sorry if this is, you can't see this well, but hopefully you can. Um, so, you know, wash your hands before you prepare any meals, you know, all the kinds of things that the kids should do. And I think it's a great resource because, you know, you want your kids to start to have some basic kitchen skills um, and so that they can help you and kind of learn. It's more of like a personal development thing for me. Um, so this is an awesome book. And again, I got all of this on Amazon. Um, then there's also this one and it's a STEM uh, a STEAM projects, a awesome science experiments for kids. And these are all different types of experiments that you can create um, using just things in the household. So, and it has step-by-step -step instructions um, and so the kids can do like different science experiments and build certain things. And it's really a great resource for, um, for kids and something that you could do with, you know, kids of all age ranges. So I have that. Um, I also have, let's see. This is a good, um, if you want to get some worksheets for kids, um, I like this Spectrum Math. This is really good. Um, this is a preschool one and it's numbers and counting, but it's very colorful. Um, so I like ripping out a couple of pages of those. Um, I also have just different like things that I found on the internet, like mats. So these are like just different activities that you could use with the magnet tiles. I mean, the magnet letters. And so they match, you know, what, what, which alphabet is missing. And so I'll link all of the, in the description box, I will link everything that I have here so you can go and get it yourself. Some of the stuff I got was free. Some of the stuff I did have to pay for, but I figured um, these are things that I could use in the summer as well. Um, if you're not somebody who is planning on homeschooling or anything like that. Um, I also have, let me see if I have anything else that I could show you. Um, I also have these big workbooks, scholastic workbooks. These are awesome too uh, for, actually these are school zone. School zone, really good too. A lot of activities here too. I also use some of it and cut it out and laminate so she could like, like the mazes and stuff, she could do it with the dry erase marker over and over again. Um, and so for writing, what I'm doing for writing is I have this really cool, sandbox and so what it is um and this i'm going to link it also but it's a great resource to help kids uh form their letters and their numbers so what i did was is i have and i will show you uh in a separate video because i just don't want to make this too long um i have these flashcards that show you show kids the actual way to form the letters like with arrows showing them like where they're supposed to go so what i do is i take out those cards and we actually work on that here so this is awesome because it's literally like if you want to teach them how to write an a they would write the a with the pencil um and it's great because you don't have to be constantly erasing um and it teaches them so this is an awesome little um writing exercise that i like to do with her as well um so that's pretty much it that's all i have for right now but i do um will post more stuff follow me on instagram firewife lawyer mom 911 and i have tons of stuff there i have awesome recipes i've actually become uh, a, a pretty good pretty good cook uh with all of this coronavirus and i never even thought i would make all the recipes that i make but i um i have recipes on there that are 20 minutes or less prep time and so check those out uh if you want to kind of spice up your your meal planning especially because we're really not going out to restaurants much um so i have all of that so and i also have a bunch of other organizational videos on my youtube channel uh fire wife lawyer mom so check those out and hopefully this was helpful if it was leave a comment below if you guys have any other suggestions for things to do, definitely uh, leave a comment. All right, take care. Bye-bye.